Good morning, my friends. This is Tanya from Side Gig Crafts. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. It's a good day. It's a good day here in Alabama. And it is, what is this? Tuesday. Tuesday. It's my last day off, you guys. And I'm a little bit sad about that, but also grateful to go back to work tomorrow. So, um, what am I doing today? Today I am trying to work on a swap that I've got to get out in the mail. Can't remember if it's today or tomorrow, but <laughs> I gotta get it out. So that's going to be my main focus in my craft room today is getting this swap done. So I had lots of fun this last week, but I got to get this finished. All right, I'm using um, a couple Timu dies today. This one is a gift box and super. It worked really well. Got to cut two to make the box and we'll put it together together. And then I found this other one. This is also a Timu and it says for you. We're going to use this as well. I thought it was a shadow. I guess it's not. Um, haven't cut this one yet, but we'll do that one as well. So let's check this one out. We're going to go ahead and fold here on the score lines. I, this looks like it should be pretty straightforward. It's got some um, embossing too on it, which is nice. If you wanted to, you could probably cut this out to be a window and put some acetate on the back on there. I'm not going to do that today. We'll just decorate it. That sounds like a lot more work that I'm not ready for. This one will go this way. I really like this box. It mimics the one we use at work. It doesn't mimic. It's similar to the one we use at work to put the animals in. And I thought, what a cute little box to put, you know, if I wanted to make something for the, for the folks at work or something, it would be super cute to use. And it's a super cute style anyway. I like it. So we'll just fold all these this way. And when I say to put the animals in, I mean to send them to their new homes. We don't keep them in, in boxes. No, we don't. Make sure I make that clear. There we go. Now, this should be really easy. We're just going to glue the... Um, these panels down together. Should be super simple. And this bottom one too. This one will overlap, I'm assuming. Actually, it's a very narrow box, isn't it? No, it shouldn't be. Wait a minute, let me see something. Well, let's let's try something first. Hopefully this will work out right. It shouldn't be a narrow box. Because the sides are fairly thick, so one thing at a time. One thing at a time, T. Let's see how it goes. this a different way that's that's a me thing that's not a what did I do what I did was smeared my glue around enough that it just didn't want to stick <laughs> that's crazy all right there we go There's a couple dirty spots on this paper I didn't notice I wonder what's that about all right, that side is down. Now I could probably use tape on this too. That would be an immediate stick, wouldn't it? Let's go ahead and glue this one down. Might be easier, I don't know. Use what you got. I like my liquid glue. There we go. Okay, so this is why I was thinking it's it can't be a narrow box because these side panels are a lot wider. So I need to, let's fold this one more time this way, figure out how, aha, see they do meet up just fine. So let's put some glue here. Mind you, this is the first time I've made this box, so if I act like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I'm learning. That's all. 
I'm just learning. I know somebody was a little discouraged once about me not knowing what something was when I pulled it out and how to use it. So, you know, I don't make the product. I don't work for the company. How would I know if I've never used it before? So, I'm going to go ahead and tip this up this way and kind of press down here to make sure that it's nice and nice and sturdy. Hopefully that lined up right. Now what happens is this one goes this way, this one goes this way, and this one goes this way. Super cute box. Super cute, super cute. And then you can tie a ribbon on here, which is what I'm hoping to do. And then I'm going to decorate the outside. That doesn't stay real good, does it? I think what might work even better is if um, craft paper would work really well. I think it's going to take a really um, sturdy paper. This one doesn't want to stay. It's not. Maybe it's not as strong. The, the paper isn't as strong as I should have used. But anyways, you get the idea. And I mean, it does work. Once it's all put together, it'll. I'm sure it'll stay better. <clears throat> So the way this, I mean, the way these boxes work anyway, there's got to be weight inside to hold this. And then when you pick it up, it tightens that up. So let's decorate the outside. I think it's super cute. I'm, I'm excited about this. Opportunities right there. That's going to be fun for Christmas. Just for little things. Um, all the things, really. Okay, so we're using, I'm going to use... Oh, okay, so this doesn't have a shadow on it. So let's open this up. I thought it was two pieces. Let's open this up and see, which is just me incorrectly remembering. Nobody told me it was two pieces. That's just what I thought I remembered. So since it's just one, let's drop that baby on there, run it through. I always come back a second time, no matter what die I'm using. I just feel like I get a better cut. Let's see how it turns out. Cut really well. Lots of tiny pieces in there. Really good luck with these dies though. Oh, except this little piece may not want to come out. When I say that, let me get move this out of the way. We might need it again, but for now, oh, there's a little heart. Let's see if we can use that little heart. Get my pokey tool. Who sent me this pokey tool? Do you guys remember? I love it. I absolutely love it. I should make if um, if I get sent more, I'll have to put names on them or something. So I remember I'll put a little bead charm or something on there with the name on it. I've got several pokey tools now. I love them. I think I want to make some more for Christmas. Okay. Oh, I just flicked that part. Darn it. Okay, well, I won't be using that. So I'm thinking we'll just put this here. It's perfect fit for you. Um, yeah. But I feel like it needs more. So maybe, do I have a flower dye? Oh, wait. I have my flowers. I don't need another. These are the ones I used on other parts of her project. I need to make some more of them. We'll just use that. I don't need another die on there. This is great.
Yeah, I have just a few things I need to add into um, her package. And um, yeah, I think this box will be definitely the piece that I need to add in there to package it. To package it up. We'll just put that straight on there. I wonder if I have a big thick pink ribbon. I don't know if I, if I do. Ooh, or, or this color right here. <laughs> this is perfect. It's perfect. I don't need pink. That's sitting on my desk. Look, more inspiration. I've got this tassely one too, but that won't that won't work right. Look at that inspiration right there. Options and opportunities. Okay, and then I think I have I have a couple of these flowers. Um, there's two that's what I needed I don't have any leaves though I have the paper let's see yes I do look at that more junk on my desk options and opportunities I wonder if I can As much as I want to use those scissors because they're sitting next to me, I know I can ruin them. I'm not doing that. Nope, nope, nope. We are not doing that to my Timbolt scissors. I love those scissors. And I don't want to have to go buy more. So I'll go ahead and take that step and get the wire cutter out. Now I'm going to need hot glue for these. Because those aren't going to stick otherwise. And what we'll do, I actually wanted to make her some of these flowers to put in her project, so I'm going to do that too. But we'll do that. I'll do that probably later today, if if I end up doing it. I'm going to put some buttons in there for her. And I'm going to put... These are some charms I made. We had to do some charms. Oh, here's two bulb pins that I need for this. There's six of them. There's two... Three, four, five, and the sixth one is where? There it is. There's a sixth one. There's a sixth one. So I made these, and I all I did was use my hole punch, or my puncher. My, what is this punch? And cut two pieces of paper out, different colors, so one on each side pink on one side and then all these others oh wait there's more one two three no they're there they were there that they are there and then we just put them on bulb pins and they are a charm for our journal just like that they can be decorated or they can be stamped I'm gonna let her do that there's two pins that I don't need to find bulb pins for. And I know I have some more around here somewhere, but probably not on my desk. I have them actually in a container. So, <clears throat> and I'm lying there right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There's a couple more. That's why they're here. So that I can use them and not have to search for them. Here's a pink one. We'll use that one too. One, two. I had just enough, didn't I? Look at that. I should play the lottery today. Ooh, there's another flower too. Ha ha ha.
Maybe I'll put the big flower inside and use the little ones to decorate the box. And let's see here. So these are going to go in here. Put the big flower in there. I'll put some other things in there too. That's not that's not it, but um, I'll put those in there for now. And then we're gonna decorate. Put that on last. Should we do it this way? Let's see. Who are you? Let me see how I want to put these on here. Put in that a little bit more so it fits in that groove better. Just a quick little project. Look how simple that is. And it helped me clean up my desk. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's why they were on my, these things were on my desk, so that I could use them. Of course. You know what I could do? Oh my gosh, I should make a little tag and put her name on it. Or a charm. Put a little charm on the box. Let's put... <clears throat> Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's put this through here. This has a wire in it. All I really have to do is kind of, boop, done. Man, I don't like that, but I'll figure it out. It doesn't want to stay in there. Ah! I think something in there is pushing it. those buttons because they're unfolding isn't it darling I love it now I could put a little tag on there is which what I was who put it over to the one side I like that better kind of balances it out right and I could put let's see I've got a tiny tag dot I don't want to put her name on it on, on the screen because I don't want her to see it um I say that as if she doesn't know she's my partner. She knows she's my partner, so she knows if I'm making this for her. I'm being silly. I was going to find my other die cut, but you know what? I don't need a die cut to make a tiny tag, do I? I don't, even though I'm still looking for it as I say that. Probably because it has stitching on it. It's actually the perfect size. Now, this is a die set that I have for my stash. This is not one I recently purchased, but yes. Isn't that perfect? It is. It really is. So, um, let's cut this out of, what color should I cut it out of? White, off-white, another pink, the same pink. Hmm. The stripey would be cute maybe let's do let's do a couple of them just to we can we can you know we can figure it out I mean, I'm sure I can use a tag for something so let's do will it fit on this one perfect Oh, 
I might have missed it. I might have to try that again. Nope, it's perfect. Okay, great. There's that one. Of course it's cute. Of course it is. Let's try this one. I just need a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the strip because I like my scraps in rectangle form. Rectangle or squares. So I end up cutting it anyway. Okay. Makes it easier to store them when they're not all chopped up. And we could, I think that's the one, but let's, let's, let's try it and see. Let's try, or I could put both of them on there. I mean, why not? Just think, just tie them on there. I have this butcher's twine. <coughs> Sorry, I keep going out of screen, forgetting. Let's use this. And what I'm going to do to make it easier for the recipient, we are going to tie the butcher's twine onto this so they don't have two strings they have to tie, um, untie off the, um, off the box. So we'll just tie that there and we'll run it through the tags. I'm gonna put a little glue on the end of this. Actually, I'm not yet because I'm not. I'm probably gonna cut it again. Which way do I go? Something on my finger now, though. Weird. Oh my gosh, you guys! I had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream this morning that I went to a ice cream shop where we used. To, this is a fun story. Where we used to um, ride motorcycles. Okay, I used to ride a motorcycle. I had to sell it when I moved to Alabama. There was no way to get it here, so no, I don't ride motorcycles anymore. However, I did really enjoy it. And we always had a good time. And we, we jokingly called ourselves a eating group that happens to ride motorcycles. Because that was, you know, what we did. Is we went to places to eat and, and socialize and have fun. So, um, I dreamt that we went to this place and I ordered ice cream. And after I ordered my ice cream, they gave me two samples of ice cream I didn't want. And I ordered chocolate with peanut butter, <laughs> like I would. And they brought me two samples of ice cream I didn't want and never brought me my order. And I was really disappointed. And I left and said, I will never go there again. That was my dream. <laughs> Silly. Do you guys like it? I think it's cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so now I have this to send to her. And there's a flower inside, so she'll have at least one she can add to her journal. And little tags here. You know, the tag, I might actually want to tie into here. So that it hangs off the side. Nah, I'll leave it alone. I think that's cute. I think that's great. I love it. Okay, well, there's that. Um, I didn't do anything to the other side. Do you think I should? Maybe I should put this paper on the back. Let's see how big this is, the embossed part, because that would be cute decorating the back, right? That is about three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter by two. So let's cut this three and a quarter by two inches and that will actually tie that tag in so it makes it look like it makes a little more sense to add in and this is paper that I used uh, in my other see we have like four or five different um, swaps that we have to do that all are supposed to go together and make a mini journal so we're making the end game is and I can actually show you this this is the end game that we have a journal that we're making 
for our partner. So all the things are supposed to coordinate that we use that they can put into their journal when they get it. Now I haven't done anything with the journal yet. I just cut it and you know put it together. Um, so there's a lot of work to do on this part, but this isn't due for a while. Uh, so I'm getting the other pieces together, and in the meantime, these other these other swaps in in the end are supposed to be items that they can use. I've got sides to do too. So that's what I'm doing is making those. Now this isn't going to fit perfectly because my corners are rounder than that, but I don't think that's going to matter at all. So let's go ahead and glue this on here. I think it'll be beautiful. And we'll do the sides too. I don't think I have any more of this stripey paper, which is fine. But when I go to decorate her journal, I'm going to have to find some others. But she can add them in. They'll definitely um, coordinate with whatever I put in there. So. And she'll have all the paper pieces that are intended to go in there. So, yeah. She can do that part. Even if I don't have any more of that paper. Or she can do whatever she wants. It'll be her journal. Okay. So I think this is two inches. Is that what I said? Two inches. This seems shorter, but we're going to go with two inches by two inches. So two by two, and I need two of those. Ooh. Sorry, Rocky. That was the cover of his fish tank that just kind of slammed down. Ooh, I'm just shy of two inches. Um, let's do two. I have another piece right there. Two by two. I think this one's two inches. Ooh, just barely not. Um, what am I going to do with this? Is this one closer? That's two inches right there. same at least? Nope. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? How am I going to fix it? Well, they need to be the same. So let's go with the smaller one because I can get another piece of that. We'll just figure out the best placement on there. Close enough. So today is truck day. I called the shop yesterday and they said, well, this is what we think. And bring your truck in tomorrow. We'll fix your tire. They're going to fix my tire today. And then uh, we'll figure out the rest of it later. There's a couple things you need to try. Actually, I'm going to go this way so it matches the back. So, we'll see what's wrong with that. I don't know. I don't know. They thought maybe it was still leaking, and it's not. I opened it up, and it's full as ever. So I'm going to try one more thing that um, I thought I was doing yesterday, but forgot. And forgot the reason why, so I didn't, I didn't try what he told me to. So I've got to try that today, and then we'll figure out later on what's going on. So we'll take it in to get the tire fixed today. Yay! <laughs> Won't be driving on a donut anymore. That, you guys, is freaking adorable. And it was a quick, quick thing. I will make sure that the um, the box and the for you are in the description box. Again, this was from my, um, my stash. The tag was from my stash. That die. And then this one was also... I think that was a Timu die. I'll see if I can find that one too. Um, but I did do a video where I made those, so you'll be able to see those. So that that's that, you guys. That's a quick, simple, easy little, easy little gift box for somebody special. And I hope you liked it. I'm gonna um I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. It's a quick one today, at least in my standards, because <laughs> they're usually forever long. But I hope you got some inspiration. And maybe, maybe I was able to spark an idea or an opportunity. <laughs> Go find those things on your desk. 
because you know they're everywhere options and opportunities all over the desk it's not a mess guys there are options and opportunities i think i'm gonna make a poster or a t-shirt or something so i hope you like it i hope you have a wonderful day i'm gonna see you in the next video take care Bye bye